So now we're going to look at the first method on how to inject our malicious JavaScript into the target computer's browser. I'm going to be using BetterCap to do this. The very first thing you need to do though is edit this beefhook.js file. So open it in the text editor and what you want to do is you want to place your Kali Linux's IP address where it says server.ip. So if it says server IP like this, you just want to replace all of this here with your Kali Linux IP address. I know mine off the top of my head. If you want to check this, all you need to do is open a new terminal window. In fact, if you've got this open, just minimize it. Because if you close that terminal window, it will basically... Um, I need to close this one, sorry. Yeah, basically, if you close this one, it will close the whole uh, control panel. So just minimize it. Do not close it. Open a completely new terminator. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to type IF config and get my IP address up and just check. Scroll up to ETH0, and there we go. So you just want to type that in here. Make sure you don't include the angle brackets, so it should look like this. Save it, and then you can close out of that. The next thing we need to do is start BetterCap. If you noticed on my control panel, I've got offline browsers. Don't worry about that. Just completely ignore it. On yours, it'll just be completely blank like this. But don't worry about it. That was just testing ages ago. So now you need to start BetterCap. So I'm just going to get this terminal window open a little bit larger. And I'm going to type better cap. Here we need to set the target of the JS file. We need to locate it. It's sort of like a module and we need to say where this specific file is. So you just type set http.proxy.script and locate it was in the root file. And it's called beef-hook.js. Click enter. Then we just need to set this module on, so it's http.proxy on. Then we need to set our target for spoofing, the ARP spoof module, so set ARP.targets, uh, spoof.targets. And we need to set the target IP address of the Windows 10 virtual machine. This is 0 0.5, because I already, you know, I've already typed IP config in the command line, but you can do it like this. So you get terminate, um, sorry, command up the CMD and type IP config. And there we go. There it is there. Set the targets. So we've set the file. We've set the targets. We've got our control panel open. And all we need to do now is, in fact, what I'll do is I'll type help to see what modules there are. I'll type um, net.probe on net dot uh, recon on but don't put sniff on because we it's, it's not needed when we're, we're not using that we're not spying on the computer we don't want to know what website goes on we just need to um, basically net.recon what's wrong with that oh it's already running so I do apologize so I've got these two running and the only thing we need to do now is type arp.spoof on click enter and there we go so let's have a look we need to go to our target computer and open our control panel and go to the browser. So it's going to try and inject our malicious JavaScript. If I go to, uh, let's try go to a browser, I don't know, website.org. And in fact, you can see online browsers, it's just hooked it now through the MSM website. So it didn't even need to go to a different browser. As soon as they opened the, you know, the browser itself, went to the homepage, it injected it. If I go to website.org, it will get another hook though. So we try and wait for it. Because technically, once you leave the website, um, it goes off. So you can see it's re-injected it into MSN. So if I click on this now, this here is our zombie. It's our target computer. It's been hooked. So if you just click on it, it, don't worry. Sometimes it is a little bit glitchy. So don't worry if it jumps down. Just click on it. Make sure it's under online browsers. Just click on the zombie and we'll be able to execute commands. So I'll just zoom in a little bit so you can actually see within the browser. And here we go. This is all of the commands that we can execute on this target computer. The most common one is the alert box. So you can search for a module within this tree here. So this is the alert box. You just search for it and you'll be able to create an alert box that will come up on the target computer's machine. So I'll just type hacked. You have been injected. And then you just move the web page up a little bit so you can actually see. Uh, sorry I do apologize you need to click this execute button in the bottom right hand corner click execute if we have a look at the target computer you can see a message has come up message from web page hacked you've been injected 
So that's just one example that we can do. That's just a simple alert box. There's many different ones. If you remove the search function, function uh, the search request and just click enter, you'll get them all back up again. There's many different ones we can use here. There's so many different things. Um, so the social engineering uh, tab, basically that will just display loads of different alert boxes um, that, that will say like, you must download this new JavaScript update or Java update, and you can specify your dropper, which is your payload. If they download it, then open it. It will inject them with your interpreter shell, which is more powerful than beef. Beef is like, a, just like I said, a foot in the door. It's not very powerful and it's not exactly reliable. It's just something useful to know and understand. This was basically just the first method on how to inject your uh, JavaScript within the browser. Don't worry, I will go into more detail on all of these modules and the most useful ones like the social engineering. That will be in the second part after we look at the second method of injection. Have a look yourself, explore the different modules that you can do. There's loads of different interesting ones. Uh, you can search for webcam and view the webcam, etc. So that was just how to inject your JavaScript with Bessacap.